Hey guys, Nathan Reed here. Uh, we are sporting the brand new uh, Deadpool t-shirt. The reason why I'm wearing it, this will actually come into play uh, later on in the video because we're going to talk a little bit about marketing and branding and your voice that you naturally have. One of the questions, I even have a, a, a meeting tonight with one of my downline, is walking him through how I have kind of perfected the social media voice of combining my life, what's going on with it, and also Advocare, right? Because there's a part of us that feels like, oh, I'm, you know, I don't want to Advocare, Advocare, you know, I don't want to do that so much into my social media that people then start to feel, you know, overwhelmed with it, right? Um, the flip side to that is, if you can have a perspective, is companies like Nike and Microsoft and all these major successful companies, they actually don't care about bombarding people. So notice sometimes that our own concerns about our social media activity with something that we're passionate about sometimes is our own hesitation and has nothing to do with how somebody else is actually perceiving what we're doing. So I left this space in the video because I'm going to pop up examples of what my brand is and how that equates to my voice in social media and involved in Advocare. So one of the things that I'm sure you guys are aware of, whether it comes to uh, Thor or Batman or Superman or whatever it is, is all of these characters, even Deadpool, are super fit. So what I like to do is I like to take two apps that you can easily download for free. Uh, one is called Generator, um, and that's an app that allows you to add text at the top at the bottom. Get familiar with this. It'll help you with your before and after photos. Um, and then the next is another one called Pick Jointer, P-I-C, all right? Um, get familiar with these. Um, Pick Jointer allows you, you know, to sometimes put images side by side. Sometimes they're on top of each other. And I use tons of different uh, formats. I'll actually pop this one up here. This is my last Last one that I actually did, which was, you know, myself as Wolverine, the Punisher, you know, and then obviously I threw up a, a thing of Deadpool because it's very, very recent. Now that post in social media didn't have a single thing of, hey, buy Advocare from me or hey, do this, right? I was just saying, look how I'm physically fit in all of these comic book characters. Who's your favorite comic book character? And then, uh, you know, I, I put a little blurb on, you know, when you're doing the Advocare uh, muscle program, you know, which comic book character are you going to play, right? This is branding, okay? It's, I like comic book movies. I like comic book characters. I like the fact that they're super fit. So I started putting myself, I'll pop one up here. I started putting myself side by side with well-known actors who are also physically fit. So in this one, uh, in the combination of myself with Ben Affleck playing Batman and me versus Superman, my meme that I created was, this is the only versus battle that matters. Obviously, advertising into the Batman versus Superman, okay? I actually posted that to Instagram and got liked and reposted by the official Batman page. They were like, this is really cool, right? So you start to see that, yes, I'm still subtly hinting in Advocare, but what I'm also doing is I'm also kind of tapping into the nerds, because I always say I am a nerd that just found the gym, right? So all these muscles that I actually have, I'm a full-blown nerd, right? I've got a, a shelf that's right here to the left of me, just stacked with comic book stuff, right? That also makes me relatable. You're also, you know, you, you want to feel like, you know, they're seeing a real person, okay? So, you know, yes, I still have videos of my wife and I, and yes, you know, I still inundate my own social media with stuff that I'm doing in my life. When I'm shooting a movie, I have stuff from set. So don't think that like your social media is going to all of a sudden, you know, be taken over by Advocare. But also realize, guys, is, the Facebook algorithms, this is what I learned in actually crowdfunding, which is the Kickstarter and Indiegogo stuff, is that when you post seven times per day, Facebook's algorithm is controlling how many people see that post, right? So you may think, oh my God, I'm bombarding my friends. Your friends aren't seeing it. Now think about that in terms of somebody thinking that they may want to do Advocare. You may post seven times 
and the one friend that you wanted to see it, Facebook hasn't even allowed that post to go to their wall yet. That's why tagging people is so important. Now, obviously I tag people that I'm connected to. You know, I am not saying to them, you are, you know, heavy and should, you know, gain weight or whatever it is. But if I'm targeting somebody who wants to gain muscle, then a muscle post of mine would get a post of, you know, I'll tag my friend David Crownson or my buddy Paul Suda or my buddy Blaine. I'll actually pop up a picture of Blaine here. Uh, Blaine got so muscular and I love Blaine to death. People think that literally his before and after is photoshopped. And that guy is one of the most motivational guys that I've ever seen, right? So another thing that's really important in your social media is make it about other people. Okay, yes, you are growing your business, right? But I give so much credit and so much thanks and so much other stuff to look what my friends did. I was on making it about other people, right? So when I get someone's before and after, I am always thanking them. I am always like, you know, look at, look at the amazing work that this person has done but you're gonna wanna find what your brand is, right? My brand is comic books. What if you have a brand of cooking, right? What if you have a brand of, um, I know that uh, Marcus Rainey, Jessica Rainey's husband, was just on a Nike billboard in Detroit, right? So maybe he has more of the, um, uh, the uh, like advertisements in magazines and stuff like that and him putting it side by side and him being like, you know, I wanna be on the Gatorade thing next. Right? So his voice can turn into whatever he wants his voice to be. Okay? Now, I want to mention this so that you can think that this is attainable. All right? Is I do get people who think, well, Nathan, I'm not physically fit like you. I'm not a pro fitness athlete like Jessica Rainey. I'm not one of the top personal trainers uh, like Brandon. Uh, how do I do this? I'm just an, you know, I'm just an average person. Well, there is no such thing as an average person, but let's look at that for just a second, okay? When you walk down the street in whatever, you know, whatever town that you live in, do you see more physically fit, like super, you know, buff people or whatever it is? Maybe if you live in LA, that, you know, that's the way that it is. Or do you see more people that just have regular nine to fives? So look at that in terms of a marketing aspect, is that if you are marketing, hey, I'm just a, you know, I'm a regular guy who works a nine to five and I have three kids and whatever it is, how many more people do you think that you are going to relate to on a heart level, on a heart to heart level of somebody getting you rather than how people view me is they're like, well, Nathan, you're an actor and you're in movies and you, you know, you're doing all these, all this comic book stuff. So do you see what I mean? Like, our own limitations are actually in our mind. So find what your brand is, talk with your upline about that, like try to find a voice, obviously download the, the pick jointer and the generator app, start getting accustomed to making those own things. You know, you should really, um, let me pop up a couple of examples here, okay? So here is a before and after that I've actually used. Right. Um, obviously, you know, I have, uh, you know, <laughs> four dozen of these. So I'm just giving you um, giving you one example. But I will put, you know, the way that they looked, uh, you know, before and then they're after before and they're after. Usually people do a side photo and then a front photo, whatever it is. Right. I'll even tell the people how to do it. I'm like, do it in straight on bathroom mirror light. You know, all that fun stuff. You can even do the thing where you're actually holding the camera yourself and then put what the weight loss was or whatever it is. Now, if you're already a super fit person, you're gonna go, well, Nathan, what if I only dropped like two pounds? I didn't lose a lot of weight, right? I was already pretty fit when I started this. So I did inches, right? I lost three inches around my waist. Now that's huge. So whatever the gain is, right? Uh, some people like, I remember uh, Michelle, who is Blaine's wife, lost like 6% or 9% body fat or whatever it is. Put that on there, right? So any details that go into that will be a part of your before and after, okay? When it comes to how you're linking that into your branding, right? Find whatever that is and then find things that are already out there. You know, um, I love all the, the, the you know, the Kermit uh, memes that basically say, you know, like, I wonder what the weights are doing on my day off. Silly things like that. But you'll notice there's always some hint 
of a gym in there, right? Um, I remember a pop up a photo here. I remember when Dwayne The Rock Johnson was working with Zac Efron on Baywatch and Zac Efron got jacked, right? I started to loop that in and put, I'll actually pop up the photo right here, put side by side of me next to Zac Efron, showing this can be done. You know, Zac Efron was a, you know, a little thin guy and now he's all muscular, whatever it is. So just know it can be done. You can talk to your upline and ask them for help. Um, you can obviously get in touch with me or if you need any ideas or whatever it is, and just make sure that you find your voice and then start you know, doing things that have the hint of being in shape, the hint of taking care of yourself and being healthy, and find a way that'll loop that into your regular life so you don't feel like that you're bombarding people with Advocare. But if you're, kind of, you know, if you're talking about me, I want all of my friends to be in shape and, you know, to, to feel great about themselves. So I really don't care about the bombardment because I don't look at it like bombarding and maybe that you know maybe something that you want to you know grow on a little bit um if you're heir at war you know and we've all seen the gopro stuff is like he's a multi multi-millionaire so do you think that his gopro posts do you think he feels like he's bombarding people i don't think so no he feels that he's helping people Right? So look at it like that. Don't look at it like I'm bombarded. Right? Look at it like help. Look at it like you're about to help all of your friends. I hope this helped, guys. Obviously, I'd love you know your feedback and comments and all that fun stuff. So take care.